What should we be eating? Are fruits, vegetables and grains going to give me all the protein and nutrients my body needs? Many people in the Western world today believe that humans have always eaten flesh from animals. This is not so. The structure of our teeth and digestive system speaks to the contrary. The eating of animal-based products is a recent phenomenon. Plutarch, a Greek priest and philosopher who lived some 2,000 years ago, pointed out that man has no curved beak, no sharp talons, no claws, no pointed teeth. On the contrary, by the smoothness of his teeth, the small capacity of his mouth, the softness of his tongue, and the sluggishness of his digestive apparatus, nature sternly forbids him to feed on flesh. All animals that feed on the flesh of others have very short digestive systems, about three times the length of their bodies. This enables speedy removal of decaying flesh, which can poison their body if it stays too long. They also have very acidic saliva and their stomachs produce large amounts of hydrochloric acid, which is necessary to digest flesh. The human digestive system is about 12 times the length of our body. This is necessary in order to digest plants and vegetables, which take a lot longer to digest because of the fiber they contain. Meat has no fiber at all, and so the nutrients can be extracted a lot faster. Because of our long digestive tract, the meat we eat putrefies. Can this putrefication with the resulting release of toxins and proliferation of bacteria be good for us? Our saliva is alkaline and contains a special enzyme which is necessary to pre-digest grain. Our canine teeth are canine only in name. Compared to carnivorous animals, our canine teeth are not sharp enough or strong enough to tear cooked, let alone raw flesh.